everyone, it's Jonesy. Thank you so much for tuning in and for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please share this video everywhere. I am trying to be more faithful to YouTube and put more and more videos up. Um, I do put everything up on my blog to live in dateinla.co. So go ahead and head on over there if you would like. And you can check out lots of really great things that I have. So I just wanted to show you my protective style, which are crochet braids. Get a little closer. I love this hair, it's absolutely beautiful. This hair is the Free Tress Go Go Curl, and the color is 1B. I like to do dark colors. I feel like dark helps my features to stand out a little bit more, I guess. I don't know. It's just probably something I made up in my head, but this is the 1B color, and I love it. I learned um, how to do it by watching YouTube videos. Um, there's this one YouTuber, I don't know her name. She's so beautiful, but if you put in Free Tress Go Go Curls, she's one of the first videos that pops up. And when I saw her um, Go Go Curl hair, I was like, oh, I have to do this and I have to try. Um, my knots do show here. I didn't do the invisible knot method in my part because it was my first time and I just wanted to get down doing it first. In my next attempt in a few weeks when um, I switched this out because this is just going to be my go-to style for the summer and probably the fall, I will do the invisible knot around. But you can see there that you can see some of my knots and honestly I really don't care. It looks like micro braids anyway so doesn't bother me. So you definitely can wash crochet hair. Um, I will insert a little video of me washing it. Um, as you can see, I just smooth the shampoo down the curls. I used Tresemme shampoo. I didn't want to use my expensive Shea Moisture shampoo on this because it is synthetic hair. So after I washed, I sprayed on a combination of um, a spray that I have. What I do is I add water, argon oil conditioner. This conditioner, I'm telling you right now, is a lifesaver. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I will definitely put it in the description box. This is $3.99. It's for all hair types. I use this on my natural hair and I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could use some on the synthetic hair. Amazing. This is the best conditioner I have ever tried and I have bought everything from Paul Mitchell to Shea Moisture to Carol's Daughter. I mean everything and it's so expensive. This is by Ren Pure. This is Advanced Extra Straight Argon Oil Luxurious Conditioner. And for your natural hair, your natural hair, excuse me, I can't talk. It gives so much slip. It's amazing. And it makes your curls pop on your natural hair and on the synthetic hair. So after I got out of the shower and I washed it with the Tresemme, I rinsed it out, rinsed, rinsed out the shampoo. Um, I followed it up with spraying a mixture that I have in a spray bottle, which is just water, this conditioner, and a couple drops of vitamin E oil. So I sprayed that on the hair, and I also sprayed that on my scalp. You need to invest in Wonder Waves by Garnier Fructis. This is absolutely amazing. It's not expensive at all, and it is perfect for this hair. It adds shine and it helps with frizz control and look at my curls. So what I did the next, so what I did that night is not only did I spray it with a little bit of this, but what I do almost daily um, is use this Wonder Wave spray. What I noticed about the Wonder Wave spray is that it is amazing and it's lightweight. It tends to be a little bit sticky. So I actually filled this up with water. So I added water to the Wonder Wave spray. This spray is available everywhere. Seriously, you can get it from Target to Ralph's and it's not very expensive at all and it works perfectly on this hair. It's made specifically to enhance the wave pattern of curly or wavy hair. So the Free Trust Go Go Curl, because it is already curly and wavy, is perfect. What I do is just go in with a few sprays all over the back. I'll do underneath. And then I just scrunch it up. And if it's really frizzy, I'll kind of smooth down over, but I actually like frizz and I don't mind it. And what I find this does is make my curls absolutely pop. Then I oiled my scalp. So this is old school. This is called growth oil. It's really old school, guys. I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but it literally has every oil you could think of is in this. 
castor oil, carrot oil, vitamin E, um, what else is in here? Coconut oil, pumpkin seed oil, grapeseed oil, chamomile oil, peppermint oil. It literally has every oil. And this was my mom's and I found it amongst her things and I stole it. And I don't even know if they make this anymore, but it's amazing. The applicator bottle is perfect. And what I do is just I go in between my roots and then I just squeeze and put it on my hair not on the synthetic hair I go in between my scalp and then I just apply some of the oil there that's how I do it I do not apply this to the synthetic hair after I wash it and put a little conditioner on it and what I do with the conditioner is I'll show you uh, I'll insert into the this video what I do with the conditioner and you'll see me put some conditioner in the palm of my hand and then I just go down the curls hair that you saw in the video that I washed and I conditioned and then I put in my twist and I pinned up and look at my curls right how good does this look so yes you can wash crochet hair and what I do in the evening before I go to bed is the same thing that you saw me do in the clip I spray my hair and then I take the hair and I do a couple twists and then I pin the twists up and then I go to bed. You don't have to do that. I do that because I want this style to actually last. I don't want to just do like three weeks after all that work that I did. I want it to last. And because I have a couple of jobs and it's really hard for me to just take, you know, a day to switch out my hair. Um, I have to find time to do that. So I want this hair to last. And when I see a little tangle you know if I could find one this is kind of sort of tangled a little bit but instead of just going in and chopping it what I'll do is I'll spray the tangle and then smooth it over with my fingers and separate and you can see the the tangle just completely is clear now the curls completely clear so that's what I do um, I hope that this video helped I didn't want to make a long video because there are so many amazing beautiful girls that have been doing crochet for a lot longer than I have but I wanted to impart just a little bit of um, knowledge um, that I have gained just by having this in for the past week yes you can wash it um, I washed it one week after I installed it and this is how it looks after I washed I let it air dry I did not blow dry it I just let it air dry so this is the Free Trust Go-Go Curls. It's so soft 
it's luxurious um, washing it didn't turn it into a big frizz ball it didn't make it super tangled and I love it I really love it and I love this hair and thank you to all the beautiful girls on YouTube because if it weren't for you I wouldn't even know crochet hair whatever we're referring it to as I didn't even know this existed until I started searching for protective styles on YouTube thank you so much to all the beautiful girls that post these videos and do that because people like me are learning from you I appreciate you please keep doing more videos you can wash this hair and I do suggest buying the Wonder Waves I don't want to use expensive products um, like my you know Shea Moisture products or anything like this on the synthetic hair because that's not made for this type of hair in my opinion it's not made for this type of hair but you know products like Wonder Waves which are specifically lightweight and made for a curlier um, Mm, lighter texture of hair I guess I would say not as coarse as like my natural four like C four Z X Y which is what my natural hair is um, that's what I use like my Shea Moisture for my or my Carol's Daughter for and I know that they have products that are for um, you know like a 3C or, or things like that but this Garnier Fructis Wonder Waves it's not expensive it's lightweight and honestly it just makes the hair just bounce and I'm, I, it's not weighing it down or anything like that. I did use a mousse. I used the Elastic QP mousse. But when I did, I found that it made some of the parts, especially at the bottom, a little bit crunchy. And I didn't want any crunch. I just wanted nice, bouncy curls, which is what I have. And I just wanted to show you guys. And so, yes, you can wash this. Wash your crochet hair. Don't be afraid to. And if you are afraid to, then don't wash it. Do your thing. Rinse it out with water and add some conditioner and you should be good to go. So I hope that this helped. I hope that these were great tips. Um, feel free to ask me any questions, even though I am definitely not a 100% expert. I feel like I'm getting close to learning so much more about crochet hair and I really love it. And it's definitely going to be my go-to look for the summer. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and you can check out my blog to live in Dayton, LA. Co and watch my web series. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.